Hey guys, let's get right into this tutorial. This is my eyebrow routine. It's very simple and I'm going to be using very affordable products. I'm going to start off with the Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil. It's number 603A in the color Six Simsma Brown. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'll definitely list it below. These are some brushes from Walmart. They don't have a name or a number on them, so I really don't know which one it is. <laughs> just a flat brush and this is my dirty spoolie please do not judge me I need another spoolie my all-time favorite LA girl pro conceal HD concealer I'm in the color warm honey I love this concealer and this is the Maybelline fit me foundation I'm in the color 355 coconut and I use this to clean the top of my brows so yeah, sorry I couldn't focus. And this is my Real Techniques Kabuki brush. I normally use this for my foundation, but I also like to use it when I am cleaning underneath my brows so that it'll be very, very smooth. And I'm only using a mirror for this, but this is my face powder. It's L'Oreal True Match. I am in the color W8. I was only using a mirror, so I don't know why I showed it. <laughs> All right, so what I start off by doing is a um, technique that I do. You know, it just makes it easier for me. It I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and I draw a line underneath my brows at the bottom only because I want it to be even. Like, I want my brows to be very even. I know they're sisters and not twins, so I don't want them to be perfect, but I do want them to start at the same spot so it won't look crazy. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just drawing a line under my brows at the bottom just so it'll be even so I can have like a guide. It's pretty much my guide. And I didn't speed this video up because I wanted you all to see exactly how I do this step by step because I get questions about my eyebrows all the time. So I'm going to start with that wet n wild pencil with very light strokes. I always start at the bottom of my brow and then I just work my way up to the top. Whatever arch I want, that's the arch that I do for that day. I pretty much do the same arch all the time, but I do it in very, very light strokes. very light strokes I'm not being heavy-handed with this at all this wet n wild pencil is so pigmented I love it and I think it's only like three dollars at Sally's and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side I just start from the front of my brow using very light strokes and then I just go on the top of my brow creating the arch that I would like and just taking my time while doing it And I don't like my brows too thick, so I just try not to put them too thick. <laughs> I was feeling that song. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll just go back again, you know. And I tried my best to stay in the camera, so please forgive me if I get out the camera every now and then. This is my first time actually filming a tutorial and I do not have the camera that I want. I am filming from my iPhone 6, but I just feel like you have to start off somewhere. So please forgive me if it's not that focused. And I'm just going in with my dirty spoolie, which I love. I need to get another one, but this is a spoolie and I'm just going through and brushing the product through so that it can blend evenly. And I always like the front of the brow to be the lightest, so it can be like an ombre effect. You never want the front of your brow to be harsh. And I'm going to go underneath my brow and just 
clean it up with my HD concealer by LA Girl and just a little bit a little bit goes a long way and I'm just using that line as a guide it makes it so much easier as you can see I'm just going underneath it and cleaning it up this step is very optional but for me I just feel like it makes your eyebrows look so good when they're cleaned up when they're crisp so yeah I just do the exact same thing on the other side and forgive me if my voice sounds a little weird I am from Louisiana I live in Louisiana and the weather here changes like night and day so yeah my throat is going through a little something right now so if it sounds a little cracky that's why <laughs> As you can see, I just cleaned up the bottom of the brow and this is where I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation to do the top of the brow. Crazy thing is on here, it looks the exact same color as the bottom, but it's not. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to work on that. But yeah, I just go in on the top and I just do very light strokes. To just shape the top of the brow the way I would like it you see it's like the same color but it really wasn't and then I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye just going on the top shaping it the way I want it to and I'm gonna clean it up with that brush you know so it won't look like a, a white outline so I'm gonna clean it up with that brush make it look very neat on the top and the bottom and like I said that line that I do in the beginning makes it so easy because it's like the perfect guide like it really guides me through the entire routine and normally it doesn't take me this long to do my eyebrows but because I wanted to show you guys step by step how I achieve the look and also I was looking down in the mirror like it is very hard like I hear people say it all the time how hard it is to record and look in the mirror it is very hard but I will be getting some new products so stay tuned this is just making the front part of my brows very clean and sharp I love the bottom to be sharp and this is the other brush I'm going to use just to clean up the top and you're going to see me kind of just rub the foundation away a little bit and that's what I always do when I have the desired shape that I want at the top I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the other eye I like to make them even I pretty much go in and I just use concealer and then I go back with my pencil and just outline them again because once they're already cleaned up with the concealer it's easier for me just to go and fix the arch part so that's pretty much what I'm doing as you can see it's coming along very well and I'm really really using light strokes almost almost okay I had to go back in again <laughs> remember you can do this to your liking I just like mine to look a certain way so yeah and then I'm just gonna go back with that spoolie and this is pretty much just to blend everything everything okay another little uh, tip little <laughs> 
tip that I use is going back in with that concealer and just drawing a very small line across the top. This is just to make sure that it's even. Like I say, they are sisters, not twins, but I just like them to be as even and natural as possible. I'm gonna use that Kabuki brush just to blend everything in. Normally when I have on my foundation, which I will be doing a foundation routine for you guys, it blends foundation so flawlessly. So, I didn't wanna rub the brows too hard and rub them away. So I was trying to take my time with this Kabuki brush. But as you can see, it cleaned it up very, very nicely. Okay, check it out. This is making sure the front is not too harsh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that is pretty much it for my eyebrow routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.